Look, to be fair, you did kind of just pop in like that. Y you know, this one does. Yeah. Well, then again, you know what you and I gotta do. Hmm. Welcome in, everybody. Welcome in. My name is George Yazura. I am the Vision of Arcane. And with me is... Well, apparently... How do you describe it with today? Because you're playing Ashley, so... Uh... Yandere Sister Waifu? Uwu? Um... I think I need to talk to Psycho about that one. <laughs> what? What, I'm she probably... Not. Yeah, maybe that might make sense. Talk to a yandere about what a type of yandere you're supposed to be. Yeah. And again, what kind of yandere would you be? Mm. Wait, a yandere that controls time? That's scary. Yeah, it's a good thing I'm not a yandere, huh? Not actually. I'm just pretending today. No, you're just lazy. That doesn't mean that I'm not... I am nice, okay? I'm a good person. Was that why you banished me last time? Listen, that had nothing to do with me and everything about you attacking people that you shouldn't be attacking. It's for your own safety. I had a metal baseball bat. The Fae literally were running away as soon as they saw the metal bat. Yeah, for your own safety, man. I swear, I could be just driving there with a tank one day and they just surrender and call me Lord. Mm, no, probably not. Yeah, give it five minutes. I could probably come in there with two tanks, one buggy, and a flamethrower. Mmm. The fair are quite resourceful creatures. Yeah, but apparently not smart enough to kind of, you know, not lock their front gate. Seriously, I didn't even sneak in. The front gate was fucking open like that. And I literally just looked at it going, how stupid are you guys? I mean, they have guests coming in and out of the court all the time. Yeah, and you run a potion shop, and even you lock the door. Only when I'm not in it. They didn't even have guests. I have a lot of very serious potions in there. I'm not going to risk somebody stealing those shit. That's why I also have a guard dog. You have a guard Seltro. <laughs> well, he's a dog, so he's my guard dog. Yeah, but he's also a fan favorite for a lot of the ladies, I've heard. Uh, yeah, a lot of ladies love him. Surprised the fake queen hasn't tried to make a little smooth on him. Nah, she's she's too crazy. She she doesn't trust anybody associated with me. Why? Okay, because... I, I understand not trusting me because I literally just almost tried to rip his her son in half. No, she crazy. She cray cray. Right? She's seriously cray cray. The evil is hell. Okay, now I know evil. You see an evil. Yeah, she is evil. You sure? Because you've seen my other universe counterpart. No, she is definitely evil. I am. Okay, never there, is, gonna... there is no way in the world that the fake queen is more evil than my alternate universe counterpart who's literally a world conqueror. Uh, I'm not going to go into graphic details about the the types of torture she does to people. I literally have to be kind of a foot soldier sometimes just to make sure she doesn't come to this place to conquer it. And you're saying the queen is more evil? I didn't say she was more evil. I'm just saying she's evil as all hell. Huh. She is. He takes joy in torturing people. Ugh, I mean, it's how, fucking evil. how bad could it be? I would be demonetized if I was uh, to, and deplatformed if I were to repeat the things she's done. She makes people watch Friends on repeat? <laughs> I mean, that is pretty evil. No, but I can think of something worse to watch on repeat. The sequel to Inuyasha. Don't. That doesn't exist. That is not canon. La 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 la. La la. La 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 la. Or they could be something even worse. 
I can make her. I can make my enemies watch something even worse than that. Big Bang Theory. That's also another cruel one to torture somebody with. Oh no, I got one that's way more evil than all of that combined. All I gotta do is just strap on some headphones. Hey, boy. Nice to see you. Thank you for the hydrates. Oh, I actually do got some water this time. In a can for some reason. Water from a can? Is yep. it actual water? It is. That sounds carbonated, sir. No, it's something called liquid death. I question that being actual water, sir. I'm looking this up as we speak. No, look it up. There are carbonated versions, but no, it's the regular one. It's so I, water with iced tea in it. Which one are you looking at? It's. I'm looking this up. Marie or Thirst, Liquid Death. It's. It's water with iced tea in it. No, well, the one I got is just regular spring water one. Technically, mountain water. Why were you mad? It was just water. Wait, which one did you get? I, I'm expecting it's carbonated water, and you should be taking care of your body better than that. Seven dollars for room temperature. What? What the fuck did you buy that from? I got mine for a dollar. I'm not even joking. Where the fuck you buy that from? Yeah, dude, you got ripped off. Yeah, that's not even a bit. Like that's legit. Okay, there's your answer. It is. Flavored sparkling water, iced tea. It is carbonated, you son of a bitch. <laughs> There's a regular water in there, too. I heard the fizzies. You hear my fan? No, I heard, when you opened the can, I heard the fizzy sound. Okay, yeah, you caught me. It was actually the lemonade one. You son of a bitch. <laughs> Look, I got some regular water next to me. It's just distilled, though. I hope you don't drink distilled water. That's nasty. <sighs> no, I use it for potions. Okay. Plus, if I get thirsty, I drink it anyway. You're not exactly picky when you're thirsty. What is this crap? I've seen it on the shelves, but I've never, like, actually... Yeah, it's it's okay. I wouldn't like go out of my way to get it. Just somebody it was just like on sale for a dollar I'm like, eh, I'll try it out. It's got minerals and electrolytes added to it. Okay. I'm doing fine, board. We haven't even started the game yet and we're already having a back and forth between the I'm evil... very curious about this mountain water stuff. I just wanted to know what it tastes like. Forgive me for one to see if water tastes different. Actually, it does, depending on where you get it, it from. It does. It does. It 100%. Listen, okay, if you pop open a bottle of Dasani, it does not taste like Poland Spring. Actually, even top. Actually, I'd rather drink sewage water than Dasani. Yeah, Dasani's pretty nasty. Yeah. Hey. Um, Propel water tastes different, but that's also flavored water. I have had Evian before. That was actually pretty good. Evian? I like Evian. I, also, I mean, that's pretty fucking expensive, Evian water, but it's pretty good. Um, there was another water that I that I liked that like had some... Um, it was lemon-flavored, but it had a lot of alkaline in it. Was it Fiji? No, not Fiji. Was that another no, one? No, no, no. It was like, specifically like alkaline water, but I can't... Well, here's a little what potion. Here's a little potion chip for the day. If you want to get the uh, most purified, at least the uh, impact, you want to use like distilled water. In fact, I'm pretty sure you got a distiller in your own home for those potions, don't you? Yeah, of course. It was called Core. It's got a weird bottle, but it's actually really good water. Huh. I I recommend. It's expensive but it is very good water and it has lemon and like some extra minerals and stuff in it. It's pretty good. 
But that tastes better than straight pond water. You're not even answering to that one, are you? Uh, I mean, as long as it's been filtered. Well, of course I filter it. You think I literally just drink it straight from the wool pod? I'd be concerned if you did. There's a lot of nasty things in there. No, no, no. What you want to do is boil it to hell to kill any bacteria in there and find a way to distill it out of there. Yeah. Probably get more health benefits from sewage water than <laughs> Um, yeah, so, I don't know, if I see core water on sale once in a blue moon, I will throw myself and I will treat myself to some core water, because I actually really like it. Microbes and parasites, yeah, that's what the Sony seems to have the most. Uh, um, and what other water is there? Because there's, like, so many different waters, they have so many different flavors. Mm. It's so weird how just, like... The simple concept of water can taste so different based off of the manufacturer. I think it's less the manufacturer, more the source of location. Like, let's be real here. There are some places I mean, you absolutely should never get water from. I mean, it's not just the source, though, because they have to manufacture it and add minerals in it. Their whole processing and distill, uh, distilling process is its, its own unique process. And what minerals they add and take out is very different to each company. Yeah, that's true. So that is something that does have a very um, big change in how your water is going to taste. Yes. Some water has more salt in it. I don't get why you want to add salt to water. And don't even say for enhancing flavor. It's goddamn water. I mean, look it up. A lot of your wa bottled water has salt in it. I mean, I know that, but I still just don't get the point. It's like hot sauce. They put that shit on everything. Oh, nasty. I hate hot sauce. I love hot sauce. But you... I'm, I don't like spicy things, though, so... Well, one of my favorites is this ghost pepper hot sauce I had back years ago. It was really good. No, I'm good. You can keep that to yourself. Well, it's gone now. <laughs> it was really good on top of some homemade fried wings I made one time. Oh, I kick up for some wings. Oh, man. I just ate two. I can't be making myself hungry. Although I could, I could go for a slice of cheesecake. Mmm, cheesecake. Cheesecake. Ah, crap. We should be playing a game, not talking about water and food. Listen, okay, I'm hungry and thirsty now. Okay, what kind of thirsty? Because with what game we're playing, there's kind of multiple ways. I mean... I'll let you be the deciding factor. <laughs> ah, great. This is what my life has come into. <laughs> man, oh man. Well, let's actually get to the game. Yeah. Wow, my reactive has nowhere to show up. Alright, there we go. My game's You've not disappeared. And my game hasn't showed up either. Oh no. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Daily Dose of Vitamin Scuff. <laughs> Sponsored by yours truly. It is not a true VTuber experience unless they're a scuff up the ass. Let me see if I can move your reactive a bit to the side, too. Mm hmm. Should I put you lower? Oh, I'll go lower if you want me to. Well, she asked. <laughs> <laughs> I had to do it. Alright, well, last time we couldn't even play it, so this time, let's actually do this. Yay! No tech issues. I mean, there's tech issues, but not that bad this time. So, last time, if I recall, we were going to rob our parents' place, right? Yep. Break in, steal their money, leave. 
Um, are we technically robbing your own house? Oh wait, we're talking about in game. Nah, cause like they 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 moved away. Remember? Oh yeah, they left us in that shithole. Bumfuck nowhere national park. Well, before we go, you want to get some ice cream? Hell yeah. The ice cream stand only operates during the height of summer season. Fuck you for not being open. Well, it's not summer apparently. Doesn't <sighs> matter. It should be open. Fair enough. This can't be the right place. Look how nice everything is. No, it's gotta be this. She did sound happy when she talked about their new place, too. What's their last name, anyway? What do you mean, what's their last name? The name plates on the doors. Did they go with Dad's name or Mom's? Dad's name, right? Why would they change that at this point? I don't know. To throw us off? You really make it sound like they don't want us to find them. Just a feeling I got. Uh... Well, whatever. Let's find the house of Mr. and Mrs. Graves. Who's this place? Grayson. Hmm. Wait, Grayson. Yo, Army Man! We found your house! Hey, Grayson. Smith. I was going with Nolan, but you know. Yeah. Actually, it is kind of cute. She's just crazy. Ugly Van McHideous. Well, that's a name. That's definitely a name. Shitter said, who makes up these names? Ugh, oh, Nightwings. Ah, here we go. Don't just knock! No one comes to open the door. Alright, all good. Ugh, whatever, let's just find a way in. Okay, I want to know what that last door says. Jones. Oh, come on. Oh, that's the st most stereotypical name out there next to Smith. Nah, I can think of something even more stereotypical. Simpson. And oh, come on, look at this place. They got a garden and everything. Doesn't matter, we'll fill our pockets and go. We should grab some food. A, a stick. stick. Here grow some tasty onions. Here grow some scrumptious carrots. I'd like some carrots, please. Some palpable potatoes. Oh, potatoes. We can make a stew. Oh, no. I can do something even better with that. You ever had roasted potatoes with some nice sautéed onions and carrots? Mm. You want to go for potatoes? What? Potato soup. I love potato soup. Cheesy potato soup. Check out the flower pot. Got a key. Not... There's a fuck all under the flower pot. See, blue soul gets me. Cheesy potato soup is delicious. Mm. I love soup. I had to make mushroom and barley soup today at work, so... <coughs> Back door is locked. Looks like we gotta find a key. One of the planks are loose. Alright, so where are we gonna find this damn key? Under a rock. Well, not under that rock. Rocks. Maybe this window. Buffalo chicken loaded cheese fries. Oh. Right now? Uh, I think the window is open. Can you reach it? Nope. I mean, what if I climb on your shoulders? Hey, I feel like that's going to set her up for something. All right. So it's not under that flower plot. It's not under that rock. Maybe it's that stick. Oh, what a plank. Ah, still too high. Lift me up. Welcome in, Ash, is it Ashley? Well? Hello, Ash. 
Ugh, no good. It's open, but it's held in place by a latch that's the other side of the window. Damn it. My fingers can't reach to unhook it. Okay, so your fat fingers can't get through through. Well, excuse me. Look, we were both starving. How was your excuse? I'm almost skin and bones. Well, let's just use the stick. Let's see. Mm, let's see. Can I... Andrew helps you climb through the window. Give me your hand. I'll pull you up. Thanks, but I'd much rather you just open a door for me. Oh, yeah. That would be easier. No water comes out. Renovations are afoot. It's no water inside the toilet bowl. I recommend you don't try to use this one. Oh. Welcome. Welcome. Thank you. Not so fast. Huh? Now what are we saying? Thank you very much. Wrong. Try again. Uh, um, how you doing, YTC? Hey, critic. Have you been getting the Tekken practice in like I said you should? Exceptionally uh -oh. well done. That was an earth-shattering performance. Yes. I think you'd open the door so swiftly and with such grace. Stunning, marvelous, breathtaking. These are but a few words I'd use to describe your ability to trespass. May I come in now? You may. Great, then let's split up. I want to get out of here as fast as possible. Uh, hey, there was something I was wondering about. Right now? Can't wait, our situation's kind of time sensitive. Well, it, <coughs> it can. Yes. Good, tell me later. So, this is our parents' home. Good number of fights before you tackle the bit of storm. Nice. Must be doing some CPU battles. Sorry to hear about what happened with the kids. I agree it was probably a blessing in disguise. Don't feel guilty. It's not your fault. The Lord has sorted it out for you. P.S. Since Andrew won't be finishing college, is there any chance my daughter could have his textbooks? It's so ridiculous he spent. Thanks in advance. Much love to you and your husband. You never told me you dropped out. I did it. It was just on pause until I got out on quarantine. Though, given the situation right now, I guess I did drop out. Well, tough luck for their daughter. Her tax boxes are in ashes in home. It's not much in the fridge right now. This rack. A sink. Pot is empty. Cooking book. It's mostly broth and stews. That's what I said. Good stew. Fireplace. They have a goddamn fireplace, Andrew. Yes. This is some rich people stuff. Who puts a fireplace inside their house? Don't you have one? I do. It's so nice and cozy. It's a wood burning stove, specifically, though. Wait, does my cow. I kind of use it for distilling, not exactly for coziness. Ah, thanks. Thank you, 50s. Thank you, 50s. These were handmade by a, a close friend and technically one of my VTuber wives and I guess yours? Are you one of hers? Silver Verity. Yeah, Silver Verity. It's not that uncommon, is it? Not in older houses, anyway. But is this house old? Fuck if I know. This place. Yeah. Inside the closets are clothes. As well as toys and some rope. Mmm, yes, toys. Considering that's your mother, I actually don't want to use them. Yeah, you close the closet real fast. Dresser is locked. You don't even want to know what your parents have been up to on this bed. 
gotta be something around here. Huh? It's the phone your mother never calls you with. Mm -hmm. Notice how there aren't any photos of us here. So what? I guess I'm a little offended. Oh, wait, YTC, so... Oh, that's actually good. Were you doing, like, a small arena just to get some randos in? Oh, yeah, that's actually kind of why I like doing arenas sometimes, YTC. If you do get it, you get, like... You can make, like, a bro for life and to learn how better. Cell also, uh, Celtro Raid. Let me, uh, shout him out. Fork, fork, Celtro. Look at him doing the dinosaur. <laughs> yeah. Celtro! Celtro is doing a dancing dinosaur. In a yes. bot. In a random bot, he a, a boat. Ah. some wing flappies. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Back to game. Retta? Uh, it's not like there were any pictures in general in their last place, either. True, but now there's our sub. Why not of us, too? Guess we're just too ugly to be put on display. Right? Maybe that's it. Stop licking my head wings. I mean, they are delicious. Stop it. No, everybody, you gotta lick Rena's head wings. They are delicious. You bastard. Look, it's not my fault it tastes like vanilla ice cream. Freaks. Look, and I don't even mean like regular vanilla. I'm talking, f I am talking home churned French vanilla. The good shit. No, 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 it's not even French. Vanilla bean. Oh god, vanilla bean is so good. Yeah, especially when it's like home churn. That's why your wings are so delicious. Say Seltro agrees. You freak! It's not my fault you taste like vanilla bean ice cream on your wings. Well, it's interesting. You can give the artist credits. Yeah. Flavortown sauces. <laughs> You're supposed to sell <laughs> You kind of broke out when you were doing that. Good. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. I don't know if I'll try one of them, but maybe I'll give them a shot. And you're supposed to be robbing the house. Get to it. I don't want to know what donkey sauce is. I think I know what they're talking about, but... Is it the regular one, or is it Heinz? Because there's a major difference. I like Heinz. What do you think they keep their valuables at? Oh, you're talking about something different. I thought you were talking about the pig stuff. I think I almost checked everywhere around this house. Hmm. Yeah, I think I've almost checked everywhere. Oh, there's a downstairs. I didn't notice that. Oh, neat. There's Barbie sauce? Yeah, they're making a Barbie sauce. It's gonna be pink, but it's like a barbecue sauce, but it's gonna be pink. Ah, okay. <laughs> like the like the pink sauce that one lady from TikTok made that was terrible? Yeah, but there's a major difference. The one at Heinz, they're doing it mayo-based, but the pink sauce one was milk-based. Oh, I hate mayonnaise. Nasty. Yeah, but there's a big difference in why the male one is just going to taste nasty while the other one is going to be disease-ridden. Fair enough. 
extra yeah, bit. Yeah, mayonnaise is gross. Perfect. It's a base. It's not supposed to be eaten straight up. That's the thing. Extra bit implies I, that there were no issues with the social life either. I think the only time I've ever liked anything with mayonnaise when it was like mixed in with like some other ingredients to make a uh, for breading for like fish. Dirty laundry. Right at the top sits some sexy lingerie. How uncomfortable. Cleaning supplies such as vinegar. Washing machine and a tumble dryer. Your parents are living it up. Okay, they gotta have some shit around here. Christmas stuff, mostly candles. Isn't like a washing machine and a dryer like kind of common? For uh, you, you, you know, you, your modern day luxuries? Yeah, but it depends on if they're like separate or together. That seems to be a together one, which means it's gonna be more expensive. I mean, some of them stack on top of each other, I've heard. Because it looks like two stackable machines to me. That is true. Also, YTC is right. I have seen crazier stuff. Wait, the Subway cookies are made with mayonnaise? You seriously didn't know that? No, I didn't. Who the fuck makes cookies with mayonnaise? You'd actually be surprised with some shit people add in there. That's it, nasty. It has... Why do you think it got a more, like, chewy texture compared to other places' cookies? I mean, I... I've had chewy cookies that are not made with fucking mayonnaise. Christmas decoration, including string of lights. Is that a toilet in the basement? Yep. I like the toilet upstairs. It's what actually works. Is terrible, Sultro. Go, go. I don't know where you... Stop licking my wigs! <laughs> I'll tell you less about purchasing a house. There's also a key. You freak. Metal box full of screwdrivers. Ah. Our parents said I picked up some new and exciting hobbies. Tell me more. I uh, don't think I will. But now it makes sense why mom kept asking us to move out. Oh, you found the key. Nice. What's it? I mean, you don't like mayonnaise. You're not a freak. Critic. All the freaks like mayo. There's no set of jewelry, but some paperwork. It reads, Dear Mr. You have adopted in our compensation for damages caused by our company's error. I'm going to be glad to meet with you. Please come discuss matter further at the only inconvenience. Flip it through the phone or something else catches your eye. Death certificates of Ashley and Andrew Graves. Wait, what? Huh? 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 I didn't know we died three months ago. What the hell is this? I guess that explains why mom kept telling me not to call. It must have been spooky getting phone calls from a ghost. That's... Oh shit, this is too early. They should be home now. It's a shame that you wasted all of our bullets. Like we shoot anyway. Hi mom, it's just us. Welcome home! I mean, barbecue sauce is good. So, who wants to play the mother? I can play mom, it's good. Okay. Andrew? What are you doing here? Surprise, we came for a visit. Oh, I see. How are you home so early? Did you get fired? Uh, it's my day off, but I was just out shopping. How did you two get inside? You left the door unlocked. You should really be more careful about that. Did I really? Here, let me help you with those groceries. Thanks. You should have let me know you were coming. How about some coffee? Where do you keep the grounds? In the top cupboard, but what about the quarantine? Any milk in yours? 
Sure, let me go wash my face. What the? Oh. What the hell are you doing? Just play along for now, please. Guess I'll make some coffee. Yeah, she's asking a lot of fucking questions, is right. Yeah. So I saw the fire on the news. What happened? What do you care? Well, first, we got evacuated after they gave us the go-ahead to leave. Since we've been cleared of the parasites anyway. Craig says drink water. All right. Huh? Interesting. On the news, they said everybody died. Andy's hot, not gonna lie. That's valid. You think a lot of people are hot right now. I mean, that's what Yeet Master said. Well, I obviously got a bias towards women, so... That would certainly make the story sell more. Anyway, here we are now, neither burnt nor full of parasites. I'm just glad you're safe. Ish. Yeah, you sure look like it. So, uh, quite the upgrade from our previous place, huh? Where'd you get the money for this place? Did you finally win the lottery? <laughs> huh. I wish. This house needs some serious repairs, but the area is so worth it, don't you think? Perfect non-answer. Even hold barbecue events here with the neighbors. Barbecue events, just like on TV. I thought that was all <coughs> bullshit, but no, they actually do that stuff here. Bet you stick out like a sore thumb. You'd be surprised, I'm actually quite well liked. Though it's probably all thanks to my cooking skills. It's a shame our Ashley didn't hear any of it. Hey! Hey, it's all. <laughs> the rest of the conversation is dreadfully boring. You don't contribute anything to it because you keep it up with Andrew's lies. And if you're being honest, you don't want to talk to your mother in the first place. Well, it was good seeing you. Your father should be coming home, so I really need to start making dinner. Oh no, don't worry about it. I'll make something. You know, full well that was her way of telling you to get lost. Um, oh boy, I can't wait to hear how Dad has been. He must have all kinds of stories about repairing the place. That's true. Anyway, why don't you go rest? I'll fix us something. <sighs> I'll take you up on that. Thank you. By the leaves. Yay. Looks like Looks like I'm the lead today. You're the lead. Somehow your burglar attempted it up with you cooking your victim's dinner. Go ahead, make him something to do or smooth talker, you. Ah, what do we got? Let's see, there's some meat. The insane good ending for this chapter. I don't know, we'll see how it goes. It's our first run through, after all. Yeah. I've been mm. actually not looking at anything from this because I wanted to do this be a surprise, so I don't know what we're getting into. Yep. What? I got this. You can go do whatever. Um, alright. What is it? It's nothing. You're struck with the odd urge to pull this brody bitch into your arms and force her to stay until she smiles. But you push such an idea to the back of your mind. Where it may fester with all the other thoughts you wish you never had. Either way, you'll let her hover over you for now. I need meat, carrot, potato, and onions. Oh, that's easy. Let's just go outside yeah. and eat the shit. Mm-hmm. How nice that our parents had all these fresh ingredients. 
We'll let you know, Yeet. While we languished in our apartment. Really makes one appreciate just how much they loved us. Come on, we'll get ours. We just have to figure out how to get about this. Now that she's seen us. Leave no witnesses. Let's not jump to that just yet. I fucking knew it. Please just let me think. I'll figure out something, alright? Ah. I got a feel. Yeah. Because there's gonna be a conversation soon about what the hell's going on. Well, obviously, I gotta watch this stuff. Yeah. Just, just curious, did you use the cultist cleaver to cut all the ingredients? Yes, why? I hope you washed it first. I kept it clean, obviously. Anyway, that should be all the ingredients. Hmm. Alright, I can't take this anymore. Actually, I can tell something is up. Spit it out! I have something to tell you. But first, you have to promise you'll agree. Thanks for the follow, Yeet Master. Thank you for the follow. Also, I will absolutely not promise that. Okay, then. Never mind. Stop being annoying. What is it? Ugh, you're gonna be such a bitch about it. I really wanted you to come to the conclusion by yourself. But since you won't, let me spell it out for you. We have to kill mom and dad. Uh... No, 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 none of that. I actually need their souls to recharge the clairvoyant stream thingy. Do you really, or are you just saying that? Huh? Hello there. Pretty fucking interesting that you mentioned this now of all times. I did try to tell you before, but you blew me off. And again, I was hoping you'd come around on your own. Name on me for expecting anything from you. Let me think about it. What is there to think about? Hey kids, it's good to see you. Says dad with the enthusiasm of a dead fish. What extremely tiresome dinner later. Oh, actually, I can do the dead fish better. I should put it like that. How I usually am right after a long day at work. <laughs> Ew, that was a riveting conversation. What did we talk about again? Anyway, I'm sorry, kids. I'm exhausted from work. I also don't even have a PNG next to me. Seriously, what? Yeah, why does he not have one but the mother does? Mm. I'm heading straight to bed. Could you too clean up? She leaves without waiting for an answer. Oh well, let's clean this up. It can't be done. The dishes, the robbing, or the killing? Robbing or killing. The more I think about it, the less doable this is. It takes one report to the authorities to put us on their radar. And if anything happens to our parents, who do you reckon are the prime suspects? Well, surely not. They're two dead kids. But we're those documents even official? Well, even, the sh even them, surely the poor grave siblings perished in the fire. Trust me, it only takes one person to start digging into it. And sadly, we've not only lorded them about us alive, but revealed our recent whereabouts. We're better off mugging random strangers who have no connection to us. And what makes you so sure this bitch won't snitch on us anyway? Seems to me she already sold us off once before. I mean, assuming she believed me earlier, there's no reason for her to do anything. She's the kind of person who'd rather stay out of it anyway. Uh, 
I fucking knew it. I knew it. I knew it. What? You're all about being so careful. But when push comes to shove, you stick your head in the sand. Hell, since you think everything's all good, why not stay here and play happy family some more? Bet you'd like that, huh? You'd seem like you'd get along so nice. You know, I'm only keeping up appearances, right? And so is she. Felt to me it was the same as ever. Ashley, are you kidding me? Mm. Okay. Listen, I choose you, didn't I? I choose you. So if anybody's playing happy family here, it's you and me. So you're saying you're not happy? Not that I didn't know that already? Fuck off with that. That's not what I said. If you keep your eye on the... If you keep your end of the agreement, everything would just be peachy. I've been behaving. No, you haven't, but that's not what I'm talking about anyway. I agreed to behave, and now you agreed. It's just us now. Funny, because I remember agreeing to bury Andy and Lele. That is funny. I remember you misremembering. I'm not, because it's the only reason I'm here in the first place. Then you must have misunderstood me. Uh. What? If you don't like it, why don't you stay here and with mommy and daddy and be a good little murder boy? Why don't you leave me to rock? Clearly you don't even like me. You're the one who doesn't like me. It's all about Andy with you. Well, guess what? Andy is dead. I really don't like Andrew. I'm sorry to hear that. Because Andrew is all you get. It... Now isn't the time for this anyway. Let's just leave. I'll figure out what it will do about the money and the trinket. If we're leaving anyway with a trinket charge, do we at least have the means to stay safe? I get that, but if we leave quietly, there's be no need for anyone to look for us. Andrew, leave for a second. That woman can keep her mouth shut without being dead. <coughs> um. What are you two whispering about? Nothing. Did you really need something? Just like peas in a pod. Huh? I don't suppose you've gotten any friends that you could stay with. Oh. There isn't enough space in the house. Despite it being far larger than the last one. And you're both already in your 20s. I don't know how else to say it. No, no, it's... Yeah, we're not fucking planning on living here. Thanks for the invitation, though. It's not like you're unwelcome to visit. There's just no room to keep you housing you indefinitely. Yeah, I get it. But since you're already here, I guess one night won't be a problem. But you need to start looking for somewhere else to stay the first thing in the morning. And it should probably be two separate places. That's a tall order after our earthy possessions got burnt to the ground. It's amazing what money can buy once you have a job. Speaking of which, I have a morning shift tomorrow. There's a spare bed in the basement. Andrew, you can take the couch. Alright, good night. Good night. Well... Aren't you going to bed? I'm not that tired yet, so... You're under my roof right now, and you will go to your designated sleeping areas immediately. Uh... Sleep now, or get out at once. You pretend to go to bed until your parents fall asleep. Going to sleep is the worst. 
after the day, all the noise and that shit, never bullshit keeps your mind occupied. But at night, you're alone with your thoughts, enough to distract from yourself. By having every attention to go pick a file of Ashley, you drift on to sleep. <clears throat> so I think we both agree those parents are bullshitting us on something. Mm, I mean, they, they clearly don't want us around. Yeah. Uh, huh. Crazy is full of meat and meat. Huh. Greetings, neighbor. Hath thou arrived to borrow sweet granulins of sugar? Behold, as thou may witness, not but flesh doth I possess to present upon thee. All ghosts are apparently required to speak like this, yes, even the recently passed ones. You read too much poetry. Be alert, young Mr. Graves. It's time for you to compartmentalize. Compartmentalize. Huh. Who is that? I don't know. That's what I want to know. Uh, what are you doing here? Oh, it's a little Lele. Yeah. Where not? I? Actually, no. Don't answer that. I don't care. Get lost. You're not supposed to exist anymore. That's who? You? You're not the boss of me, Andy. Forget this. Stop following me, you little shit! Well, it sure is dark that way. Good thing I have these candles. Great, hand them over. No oh, way. Uh, I'll ask nicely for now. May I have one of the candles, please? Nope. And why is that? Because I only have so many left. And my lemon muffin has no candles. I can't pretend it's cake anymore. Just eat it then. That way you can pretend you ate the cake. You won't have need the candles anymore. Too precious -y. God, you're such a tool today. Okay, whatever. Ugh. Stuff in the light. Really, girl? All right. Huh. Um. Huh. Oh. It's a fake out. Why noise? Even in your dream, the entertainment sucks. Play today. Nothing. Go to bed. Bonding. I don't care. Go to sleep and never wake up again. I don't want to sleep. I want to draw. Draw then. Just don't leave this spot. Draw without my coloring pencils. Uh. Well, if I nick myself, I can get red. I'll get you your pencils. Thanks, Andy. You're the best. Oh, man. You must feel that star pillow. What the hell? Uh... Collection of photos and know your girlfriend cherishes. Or your ex-girlfriend used to cherish. You're pretty sure you won't be, wouldn't be up there anymore. Trash is full of letters, mostly death threats. Death threats? Mm. Supposed to be the. Julia. 
You've been out quiet all day. What's up? No, no, it's yeah. nothing. Wait, actually, I've been thinking about something a lot lately. But I don't know how, if I should bring it up. With that much buildup, you kind of have to now. Uh, oh, okay, please don't get mad. What if I ever once raised my voice with her? You know you can tell me anything. Uh, I uh, talked to my sister about what you said the other day. And she agrees with me. But maybe it's... Like, maybe it's better for Ashley to learn some more independence. <sighs> Even if it's just for her own sake, you know? Uh... And maybe for our sake, too? I think it'd just be nice if you could stay over more often. And not, like, always cut things short or cancel on me so much. Sorry. I'm not reprimanding you. I can't make her learn anything, though. No, 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 but you could, you know, not always go when she has. If your sister needs something, when did you go? Well, yes, but she only asked me if she actually needs something. I suppose... Sorry, maybe I shouldn't have said that. Or brought this up after all. No, no, it's fine. I guess I'm still shook up over what happened to your friend way back when. Ashley might not look it, but I think it affected her a lot too. So that's probably why she is how she is. I really don't get that impression at all. For someone so obnoxious, she's surprisingly difficult to read, isn't she? Sorry, I didn't catch that. No, 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 nothing. Go on. Anyway, I worry about something like that happening to her. Or happening to you. So I can't let either of you out of my sight. I'll be fine if you're here with me. <sighs> Would you tie your hair up for me? Oh, heck no. You'll pull on it again. <laughs> uh, but you know how boys show their love. Well, that's just awful. I suppose she still lingers. Hasn't been that long. I just kind of forgot about her with all the chaos going on. What do you hope to find in there, pervert? You have 127 new voicemails. Oh, no, no, you are not listening to all that. Who is that? Someone says in a room with an unblinking gaze. I can't get over there, so... Alright, here's your damn pencils. I wouldn't want to hinder your autistic, artistic genius with my bad ideas. Hmm. Call. Whatever, as a thank you, I'll give you a candle. Treat it carefully as if it were me. I'm lighting it on fire. Now go. The flame's for you. <laughs> Boo, you suck. Someone tells me to use the candle on this. <clears throat> <coughs> Holy hell! Jesus Christ. Uh, Skyrim got a dad joke. How am I supposed to make a dad joke from this? I guess this, this is a dream. I can make a dream joke, but... Bloody hell, what the hell is this mess? No, wait a minute. Hey, Renna. Huh? Those corpses look a little familiar to you. Oh, like they... Ah. 
Hey. Yeah. You know, trying to think of a dad joke in this situation is going to be bloody murder. Uh, the police officers and that one bitch. That must be the cultist up top, too. Yeah. Well, you made Skyrim laugh, so. Yeah. This one you had to get before he got you. It worries you someone wanted you dead enough to hire this guy. Oh, that was the assassin. Ashley would have wanted to kill this one anyway. You couldn't leave any witnesses after all. Still, you can't comprehend why there hasn't even been a mention of her in the news. Surely someone found her before the fire burned down the apartment. Is there an investigation going on? Can this be linked back to you? It doesn't bother you. You killed this one to protect Ashley. No regrets. Back when he and his buddy still fed you, this one was always leering at her. Never mind, there was one regret. You wish you could have killed him slower. Found Ashley in the closet. There you are, you menace. I'm missing the limb you cooked. I figured you'd have it. In your stomach, right? In mine. Are you gonna cut me up to get it? I'd rather not. What do you need it for, anyway? Nope. There's plenty of limbs right behind you. That's true. Uh... An well, assassin tried to kill me, so... Oh, I can't. Well, yep, young graves. Alright, fine. Here's your damn... Uh... Thou's possessed the absent limb, yet it does not belong to me. Perhaps she has a little consequence to thee. <clears throat> Does thou reckon that my mortal frame was consumed by the flames? Forsooth, I do not. Methinks the innards of a freezer does not combust, perchance it may cook, but to burn? I know it not. Verily, the most foolish deed thou hast even committed was to leave mine own remains on thine own dwelling. Praise the heavens that some fowls sought to protect themselves and kindled a flame which engulfed all. Wait. Hey, Renna. Mm hmm Did you catch half of that shit? It sounded like just a bunch of gibberish to me. No, no, no. Back in the old days, I've heard about this backwards talk. I don't listen to people that talk like that. No, 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 no. I've had this situation before. One thing I learned about arcane magic is sometimes there is truth and crazy. And I thought about it. And thinking about it, there might be a truth in what he just said. Maybe. So the apartment's burned down, right? What if not everything burned down? Possible. What if there was some piece of evidence that might lead to us? Remember, we didn't just take one limb and take it back. We stuffed this whole thing in that chest, didn't we? Yep. What if the chest survived the fire? Hmm. At our apartment? That would be problematic. That's a problem. This reminds you of something. Just open it, man. Fire's and shine, Mina. <laughs> Did you have a fun night? I sure hope you learned your lesson. There's no answer. Huh? Is she still sleeping? Um. Lily kicks the crate. Wake up, sleepyhead! Come on, don't! Open a crate. Huh?
Wait, what? What? Why? Why is she dead? <laughs> How? How did? What? That, 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 that can't be right. What? What? What is going on? Whatever. If you're so weak that you die just like that, clearly nature doesn't want you to live. <laughs> shut up! Just, just, just shut up! This. Let's just leave her here. Since you took the stick off, it looks like she just went in there on her own anyway. No, it, it doesn't. Why would she have clawed at the crane until her fingernails split? And why if she was there willingly? Oh well. It's not like anyone knows she's here. Let's just leave her. No, no. She'll start, she'll start rotting. And someone will come looking and find her. I think her family was already looking for her. It's only a matter of time until they come check here. So what do we do then? Um, I... Uh, I... Fuck! Let's just hide it then. Wh huh? If they don't know, then it's not a problem. They're gonna know, Lily. They'll... They'll, they'll find the body. They'll know. And then they'll throw me in prison for the rest of my life. Me too. Fine if it's both us. No, you fucking idiot. You don't get it, do you? Guys and girls don't go to the same prison. They're going to take you away from me. How is I supposed to know that? You figure something out then, since you're so smart. Okay, okay. Let's just... um. Like, move her somewhere. Yes, a grave. Let's dig a grave for her. Alright, where? Anywhere in the forest should be fine. <coughs> oh, proper outside. Yeah, uh, that, that's probably fine. But first we need to wrap her up in something. Because no one can see us carry her there. Crap, 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 crap. Uh, this will have to do. You're wrapping this corpse inside the tarp and carry her away. I couldn't find a shovel, but I figured these wooden planks would work too. I mean, they're kind of shovely. Mm. Watch out for splinters. Splinters are the least of my worries right now. Let's just pick a good and easy to dig spot. Boy, boy. Uh, but, uh, but maybe here. There doesn't seem to be any roots this way. I'm tired. Yeah, this is way harder than I thought it would be. Isn't this deep enough already? A grave should be six feet, right? Forget it. She fits here. She'll just be fine. Uh, uh, okay, fine. Um, um, uh, you and Lately pushed the body into its grave. Crap, this doesn't look natural at all. Looks fine to me. No, this can't. There can't be this. That's an obvious spot. It needs to be hidden, too. You want to hide it with some leaves and such? This looks so much better, huh? Also, it was all gonna get blown away by the next breeze. There's gotta be something in here to hold it in place. Nice. Makes me want to write your name on it. Out of the question! I'm going to do it. I was just saying. Uh... What is it now? She's hidden. What if they find her? What if the police dogs dig her up? Listen, forget it. I can't. Of course you can. Did you know that if you don't think about something for a really long time, it's like it never happened? Because you can't remember it anymore. Forget all about it. 
Whaley, I need to know you won't say anything to anyone. Promise me this stays between us. I just said we'll forget all about it. You say one thing and do another. Promise me that this time you'll honest to God keep your mouth shut. Promise. I'll say anything. Hell, I never even seen her name again. What was it anyway? I don't remember anymore. <laughs> there, there. It'll be fine. Just kidding. I'm gonna tell on you. If you won't do as I say, I'll tell everyone about what you did. Who's gonna play with you if I'm in jail? I'll send you letters. I can't read your crappy handwriting. Guess you'll just have to do what I say then. Otherwise, you'll be all alone in prison. Uh -huh. I am your best friend from now on. You already were, Lily. Don't lie to me. I'm not, I think. Whatever. It's just you and me now. No one else will like you. Because you're bad. Uh, You're a bad person, Andy. But I won't tell anyone. Of course not. You'd be in trouble, too. So what now? No one likes me anyway. But that's fine, because you'll be around now. God, you stupid, stupid girl. I've been here this whole time. None of this needed to happen. You could have just... Because from now on, no one like you either. So let's be friends, okay? Uh, be my friend, or else. Oh, I'll be whatever you want me to be. Really? And from now on, let's always be together. Yeah, a million things you wanted to say to this creature, none of which were pleasant. But absolutely nothing came out of your mouth. Done, done. Several days went by without a hitch. Uh, Can I eat your ice cream? Go for it. Huh? Really? I can't seem to eat anything lately. Why do you have to put this jam thing, like, in strawberry ice cream? It's gross. Wish there was no jam. You wish you had the capacity to care. Has anyone asked you anything about things? Yeah, my teacher asked everyone in class. Some officers came by, too. And did you say anything? No. I only asked Julia if she was expecting to see anyone the other day. Why? You know, because a certain someone told her mom she went to study with Julia. But I thought maybe she told Julia she was going to come to see you instead. Well, did she? I don't know, because she didn't want to come out and ask. But Julia said she was visiting family that day, so I doubt she had any idea. Your promises mean fucking nothing. so cold to me. You're worse than when you were before, jackass. I gave you my ice cream, yet I'm a jackass? Oh, wait. I see how it is. You're still pining for that bitch. Here we fucking go again. She's dead, yet you're still all about her, aren't you? It's never good enough. What a snake. I bet she died on purpose. I need a knife. Huh? Where are you going? What are you 
doing with that knife? What if you wonder if killing would be worth it? I am going to make a blood oath with you. But in return, you'll have to promise me something. Okay. Keep my secret, and I'll keep you company. And what if I don't? Yes. Haha, <laughs> you're all bark. You won't do anything. If you ruin my life, what reason is there to keep up appearances? Moreover, I'm doing this for you. Then what happens if you break the promise? I won't if you won't. I'm not buying that. Lily, you are a miserable, loathsome being that has wormed its way to every aspect of my life. And for that, my heart will always have a rotten, moldy, sore spot just for you. Make of that what you will. I mean, I'll take it, but she... <sighs> gently, you asshole! How does one cut someone gently? A better man would know. Whatever. And thus she forever keeps her mouth shut. Only as long as you keep your eyes closed. Huh? Let no hussy steal your gaze. It's just us now. Hold the fuck up. I just noticed something. Mm -hmm. Wow, that smart little bitch. Uh, look at our reactives. What about my reactive? Uh, look at my eye. Yeah. Quick question. Have I ever actually had a scar in any of my pictures? Um, you do on your new model. Um, uh, wait. Do I? I don't think I've seen it. Yeah, I thought so. I don't remember having it. I could have remembered- I could have remembered you <sighs> talked to Verity about it. Uh... Possibly, but I made these but before. But also, keep in mind, though, it's supposed, um, our reactives are actually supposed to be flipped. I'm supposed to be on the other side. Um. Alright, how it I wouldn't. It wouldn't have matched. Yeah. It probably makes sense, too. Mm hmm I thought she, like, added the scar thing because of the scene. I don't know. Nope. Nope. I assure you, it's just because... You told her about that you wanted a scar. No, that's true. I said be around. I never said there wouldn't be others. Ah, <clears throat> uh, wait, no, I want to do over. Too late. A promise is a promise. There. Aw, uh, don't be like that. I'll make you a priority, just not the only. Kill our parents. Huh? Hold on, that's not what she said back then. Flip are your cute little sister. I know you want to. <sighs> Kill them to solve all of your problems. Kill them to feel something. Kill them for food. Kill them to avoid things. I'll do to you if you don't. What is that supposed to mean? Look who's awake. Good morning. Erna? One hour or night. It's still night time. Mm -hmm. What do you want, you little creep? To offer mom and dad to the demon. Right now? Right now. While they're asleep, we'll set up the ritual and do it. 
Ugh. I gave you plenty enough time to figure this out, yet you haven't. So now we're gonna do it my way. <sighs> okay. Oh my, my efforts were far more effective than I thought. Welcome back, Candy. That's not it. But you have a point that Mom might snitch on us. I knew that even before we got out of our apartment. I don't know why I let myself think in anything else after talking to her. It's because at your core, you're such a soft, gooey marshmallow. Well, if it weren't for me, all kinds of vile women would have gobbled you up already. <laughs> what are you doing? <coughs> God, you're so fucking dumb. I should. Andrew, are you still awake? Yeah. Why are you still up? I thought you had work tomorrow. I wanted to talk to you without Ashley. It's not really a good time right now. Look. I know it's late, but this is important. I've been thinking things over, and I believe I owe you an explanation. That's alright, I don't really need to know. I'm really tired. Andrew, I understand if you're angry, but at least listen. The whole situation with Ashley was... Oh... Oh, go on, Mom. Don't mock me. Mm. Uh. For the love of God, this had better not be what it, what it looks like. <laughs> Whatever. How does this look to you? Where did you get... What's it look like now, Mom? Ashley, come on! Not that there are any bullets left in the gun. But your mom sure does it. Ashley, put that away. There's no need for this. Be quiet and start walking. We're going to the basement. And don't get any funny ideas because I will shoot. Andrew, go get a rope or something and find this bitch up. And don't kill that. Then I need to be told that. Uh, what are the dads asleep? Sorry, Dad. I need something. I wonder if this is fine. Oh, shit. Nice one, dumbass. Sword. What on earth are you doing? Uh, sorry, I needed to, uh... There was actually been a golden explanation while you were rummaging through the sex toes. The truth is, I want to tie mom up doesn't sound better either. I want to fuck myself? Oh yeah, that'll do. Where's your mother? She went to get something from the basement. Actually, I think she could use some help. Confused, your father goes to check up on your mother. Maybe you should hang yourself with it. This sounds so good or right about now, because... Honey, is everything alright? <sighs> Take out your cleaver. Oh, what did I get myself into? What is going on? Hey, Andrew, weren't you supposed to be masturbating? <laughs> Just walk down. Slow and steady. Tie your father up with the rope. Can't help but notice some old rope burns on his wrist. Better not dwell on that, as you rather not visualize how they came to be. Oh my. Oh no. All right, Ashley. What's your plan now? Don't move. Don't scream. I will shoot. Why are you doing this? Don't talk either. Just shut up and wait. What was in this purse? Mom's purse. Oh, I got the cash. Isn't that enough? 
All right, I'm legit curious. What was all that stuff about? Well, I can't see it now. I feel like there's something else we're missing. Well, he's got some Christmas lights for some reason. Tie your up with Christmas lights. So this is what your life has come to. Alright, good. Dad, do you remember how to perform the... Hold up! Mom, what's the pin for your credit card? Is that what this is about? Money? You go this far for just for a quick buck? What's the pin and where's the card itself? It's in my purse. She tells you the pin, you scribble it down in notes. Alright, then I'm gonna go and try this now. Ashley, you stay here and don't do anything. That depends on them. If she gave me the wrong pin and you end them, then what? Again, it depends on if they behave or not. Uh, Alright, I'll be quick. This better work. Whoa, 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 what are you doing here? Go back downstairs. They're not gonna try anything. It only takes one of them to start screaming for the whole place to blow up in our face. Shit, I passed it. Yep. I have no idea what it said. I think it was something about pointing a gun to their face. Oh. Butterfinger. Sorry, guys. Yeah, so go point it, and I'll be right back. It's just... Come on, out with it. I need to get going. You're with me on this, right? Sacrificing them? Did I already say so? Oh, you have this habit of flip-flopping? Lay. Fuck! Hey. Look, just trust me, Ashley. We're doing this. <laughs> You're the best. Come back soon. Yeah, yeah. I'll see you in a bit. Looks like it's a you mission. Ooh. So we gotta set up the rituals. Let's see. I think it's evolved. I remember and... it. I mean, is that the runes, magic, and a boat? Yeah. What was there that song that cultists kept blaring? Hope that wasn't too important, seeing as I don't have it there. There are some runes on the floor in a book. No, wait, the book was just the instructions. It wasn't the ritual itself. Blood to draw with. Alright, where are we gonna get some blood? Their blood? Let's use this. Oh, that's a spade. Kitchen knife. Alright, so here's what's gonna happen I'm gonna cut one of you to draw some blood. And if you scream, I'll blow both of your brains out. How about that? Just take the money and go. What do you need our blood for? Oh, so now you care what I'm about. Don't you fucking act like I haven't tried with you, Ashley. You're the one who shut me out. But even then, I stuck my neck out for you all this time. Or like the time when you left me to starve for three months? Was that you looking after me? Aw, oh, gee, thanks. You goddamn know what I'm talking about. I never told anyone what you two little psychos did to that girl. <laughs> what are you on about? Take your meds. I know you and Andrew did something to that classmate of yours who went missing. I knew the second she was found dead near the warehouse he used to play it. Whatever. If I didn't love you, I would have ridden myself of you right then and there. <coughs> when it comes to being a mother, I'm fucking saint, Ashley. A saint! Yeah, yeah, the painter's saint of covering one's own ass. Do you have any idea what they could have done to you if they found out? 
Now then, your paragons are virtue. Let's see whose blood I should use. Who should we cut? The dad or the mom? I don't know. You tell me. I don't know. It's your chapter. It's your story. You're playing Ashley. But this is your game. But you're also the co-star. Does it matter even? Who knows? Alright, who'd you find the most annoying? Mm -hmm. I want to know what, like, what the mom was going to say to Andrew. Well, let's cut her. Honey? It's fine. Don't worry about me. Yeah, she wouldn't worry about you in return. Oh, hi, kitty. There's a cat? Where's yeah, the cat? Kira. Where's the cat? Pet the cat. Yeah, she's underneath me. She wants love. Pet the cat. Baby. Hello, my baby. I love you so much. Yeah, see, even more than Skyrim agrees. Pet the cat. All right, yep. chat. <laughs> All right, chat. We got a quick poll question. There we go. Should she pet the cat? <laughs> Chat, should she pet the cat? We got less than a minute left before the poll ends. Should she pet said cat? <laughs> Jim. I don't know where we're playing a game about chaos and cannibalism, and now we're just doing a poll on whether you should pet your cat or not. Oh. Oh, he's a cute kitty cat. <laughs> Out of points. <clears throat> Uh, he used his points to to decide if we're gonna pet the cat or not. Eight hundred points. Damn. It was a meat really pole. Want, really mean, wants those those cats to be pet. That was a meme pole. Both options were yes anyway. <laughs> yeah. She's my little baby. Cat needs more pets. I mean, fair enough. She does. If you see a dog or you see a cat, it must be petted. That is just the law. I do still have my GoFundMe up for her. <laughs> go contribute to her GoFundMe. She had to go to the vet. Yeah, she was very sick. <laughs> oh, yeah. Back to the actual game. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right now. Okay. All right. Let's see here. We should go to your Yeah, something like this. Now let's just finish drawing this masterpiece. Oh, my sweet fighter. Oh. I drew a circle. Do you even know what a circle is? Because it's not that. The nerve of you. You never. No, no. Don't let her get a rise out of you, no. 
Candles, candles, candles. <laughs> candles. Where would somebody get candles? Oh. There we go. Yeah. Alright, that's all the candles I have. Welcome back! Andrew, give us a hug. You have to draw. You have a draw limit on your card? I do. You do? I can only get a couple hundred before it lock me out. <laughs> Suck it, bitch. Apparently, being a sufferer runs in the family. Mm. Yeah, well, guess what? Now we all get to witness the wonders of customer service. Get up, you have to make a call. As you take her to the phone. Off we go. <laughs> Your luck as a customer service line is just open for today. And somehow there's already a million hour wait? So guess what? You wait. Please hold. A representative will be with you as soon as possible. Honestly, I'd say just kill me now at this point. I hate this stuff. It's no. Worse. Do you know how long it took me just to open up my new card? Three hours. Jesus Christ. I know. Their face alone was me. Please hold. A representative will be with you as soon as possible. Yet. Please hold. A representative will be with you as soon as possible. If they quarter of a millennia later, I'm gonna get a hold of somebody. I'm sorry. Let me just confirm. You said you want me to remove your draw limit altogether. That's what I said. Yes. Oh, that's crazy. What if your car gets stolen? Indeed. It's not at all being held at gunpoint here. <laughs> there we go. You're gold. Is there anything else we can help you with? Apparently not. All right. Have a nice day, Mrs. Graves. Now it's back to the basement with you. And don't think for a second I didn't see the stunt you were trying to pull there. It was just small talk. All right, fine, here we go. The card should be freaked now. I like your mother who Andrew quite the... Tick. I was looking at what you set up here. And let's just say it's not quite there, is it? I don't remember what those little runes look like anymore. God, your memory's such shit. But I already figured out as much, so I sketched them out for you. Why do you just draw the rooms themselves? There's blood right there. Because you might have a good reason for not drawing them yet. Alright, there. Whatever. Give me the card. I'll go pick up the rest of the money. I really don't like the idea of you wandering around by yourself at this hour. It's already morning, though. Well, yeah, but I still mean... Just hand me the card, I... Actually, can I really leave Andrew alone with Mom and Dad? Who knows what they'll say to him. He's wishy-washy enough as is. Ashley? Hmm, save game. Trust him or fuck uh, that? It is getting a bit late, and I do have to stream in the morning. All right, we'll end it here. We did just save. It's a good point to, to kind of come. I feel like we're at the end point anyway. Yeah. When is anybody else playing this game? Maybe. Probably not. Hmm. 
No one I really know is streaming. Except for Max, but that's about it. Uh, yeah. And the top streamer right now is literally us. Um... Oh, there's another VTuber playing this game. Right, right into them. Yeah, they're a mermaid. Oh. Ah, Kitty, where are you going? Why are you leaving me? So we're gonna raid into a luminous cove. Nice. We'll call it here for now, but we will see you all next time. Probably tomorrow when I play Octopath. Well, have a good night, everybody. Good night.